They'd have, to, they'd have to separate it like that. Trans men and trans women. There'd be four different sports categories. Well, women are still complaining about not getting paid enough. Male to and then the trans woman would get paid more than the women. And then, and then the women would see a problem with it. Subscribe to this channel. In case you are watching this channel, I have not subscribed. I got first called transphobic because of the Fallon Fox thing. Because that fighter that was beating the shit out of um, biological women without telling them that she was a man for Cracked 30 one of their plus skulls years. within yeah. like 30 seconds. Bragging about it. And crazy. I was like, that's fucking crazy. And people were like, you're out of line. You're you're a bigot. I'm like, what are you saying? And granted, I used uh, very inappropriate language and very colorful language to describe this because I was furious. As was you like, should be. But I wouldn't be. And here's yeah, a dog, like, it's so crazy that people are okay with men beating up women as long as they identify as a woman. Like, <laughs> it's fuck. how does that make sense, bro? How does, how does anyone get behind that? You still are physically a male. You was born a male. You went through puberty as a male. Every single thing about you is male. You just choose to be a female. Whatever, do that. But how in the fuck does someone stand up for a man beating up a woman? Uh, a, a trans woman beating up a woman, I should say. There's another recent case that people brought before me, like, this is outrageous, this is bullshit, of a guy who I think he was a ranger or a seal, like, super fucking jacked, like, ripped dude, who transitioned mm -hmm. and yeah, became no. a woman and fought this woman. I don't have a problem with that. Zero problem with that. Because it was her decision. Just like, I don't have a problem sure. with people riding bulls. I don't have a problem with people free diving with sharks. Yeah. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But the Fallon Fox things, she, they, opponents didn't know, right? Exactly. exactly. The first two fighters didn't know that she was a biological male for That's 30 years. Up. It's fucked up. And she said that it was a medical decision. It was a medical uh, issue and it wasn't any of their business. That's a, I that's, don't think your sex is a medical issue. It's just kind of a state of being fine. that, and it might be important to certain yeah. situations. Like if I go to a doctor's office, I always find that it's very important for me to tell them that I'm male to female transsexual because there's going to be certain things that they need to maybe screen me for for my health or look sure. out for that are specifically to biological males. And those are things that, yeah, I can change a lot of that, but not all of it. But at least that is you like patient. Males and those are things they need to maybe uh, tell them that I'm male to female transsexual. Like if that's, I, that's just kind of a state. A of trans being, man. That's a trans man. Also, that's that's a trans man. Issue. It's just kind of a state of being that, and it might be important to yeah. certain situations office i always find that it's very important for me to tell them that i'm male to female transsexual because there's going to be certain things that they need to maybe screen me for for my health or look sure. out for that are specifically to biological males and those are things that yeah i can change a lot of that but not all of it but at least that is like patient they got me they got me they got me uh, patient physician relation fuck it Ah, oh, fuck it. Y'all got my first ill. <laughs> and and no one's getting assaulted. <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's also, it's it's private. Yeah. This is a public thing. So I think her perspective was that if she tells these people that she was a biological male for 30 years and then transitioned, that she'll get publicly persecuted and people would be upset. But you got to give people the opportunity to say no. Like, I don't want to compete against someone like this, especially in the level of competition that she was facing. In combat sports specifically. Yeah, but like... it's also, like, it's low-level combat sports. It's like, once she fought, she she fought a biological female that kicked her ass, Ashley Evan smith mm -hmm. who eventually made her way to the UFC, um, who was talented, like, very good, and wound up beating her. It's like, because it wasn't like she was very good, but she had all these advantages of having male hormones flow through your body for 30 plus years. Yeah, that's it's a the big other thing. advantage. 30 years of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just to be kind of real about it. I'm sorry, bro. I'm still stuck up on that. There is no way this is a man. And it, that is, he, she did a great job if she, that's a, that, that was a man, bro. Cause <laughs> you can, the shoulders are tiny. I don't see no Adam's apple. I, I see the plastic surgery. So maybe that, I, but bro. If I, for whatever reason, like right Ooh, when I me. moved from LA to Texas, I was in between doctors. So I was literally off hormones for maybe three to four weeks. And like, I'd, I've been on them so consistently for so many years now that I didn't realize how quickly it gets reversed if you're not on. Like I didn't see necessarily physical changes, but just psychologically, like just so many things. People really underestimate. How, how, when did you get off? Um, it was like, I moved here September 1st. So from like... September 1st to like October, I wasn't on. And what, what happened? What was the shift? My skin got really oily. My hair got really oily. 
Um, I literally felt my arm hair get slightly thicker. I have almost no arm hair, but with what is there, I felt it get a little bit thicker. Um, Were and then like, yikes. That's so crazy that they got, that's so crazy that they got medication now that can block your hormones and testosterone. Like I know it's 2022 and we got crazy shit, but man, that's, I just, I just feel like that's so nuts. Yikes. Yeah, I was like, I gotta get a fucking doctor. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh, about to get some black market shit. Don't do that, no. Uh, but yeah, it, and that's only a month after being on them consistently for eight years. So if you are, if you've lived your life until 30, 35, maybe even longer, you have received the full impact of masculinization via testosterone. Yeah. And that's not that's not inconsequential and the people act like it is it's a huge thing well there's a guy that was on my podcast recently his name's Derek he runs uh, the website the YouTube page more plates more dates have you ever he's he's, a, he's like an amateur chemist he's a brilliant guy but he's okay. done he knows a lot about steroids he's done a lot of steroids himself and he knows a lot about hormones and hormone optimization and he even runs a, a hormone clinic and he did a series of videos about the problem with uh, people transitioning and like what are the benefits that these athletes are facing that activists are not being straight about and you know he's he went over specifically this MMA fighter that used to be um, what was was he was he a ranger or a seal when he was a male I think he was a Navy SEAL or a Marine. Yeah, whatever. Jacked. Like, Huge motherfucker. Like, he was hot. Yeah, pretty hot. He was like actually pretty hot. I was like, yeah. damn. So, uh, um, At least I'm not the only person that called a guy hot today. And then, <laughs> then became a woman and started, you know, fighting in MMA. But again, I have zero problem with that. If no it's problem. consensual. Special forces. Yeah, special, special forces. Okay. So um, he did a whole video on him. Now, now there's a swimmer who just beat her just slowest, uh, the, the next closest competitor by 38 seconds <laughs> but see uh, that's the, that is wild but the thing about that is <sighs> like i think it's very easy to get a little reactionary to things like this and be like oh this is like a really bad thing and i agree that it's a bad thing especially if it's not consensual like you said but like what better way to show one of the major pitfalls of like this ideology yeah. like than just seeing it because in sports yes right, because it's if if she really is trans like uh, i just had a comment in my uh, i just had someone comment on my video today talking about trans equals evil and i commented back saying like nah not all trans people are evil it's just the just the pedophiles and the groomers and the people that try to shove this ideology down your throat without any logic that are the evil people trans that are like this these are the trans that actually i respect like i, I like this this is why i have no hate towards trans people at all because there i know there's people like this <clears throat> people that are actually open-minded just wants to see themselves as how they see themselves and like that's what genuinely makes them happy they don't want to force anything down no one's throat they just live happy-go-lucky being themselves and they are open to having a, a discussion about it without getting their feelings in the way trans people like this should be the only trans people that are even publicized on tiktok youtube whatever because all these other trans people that try to shove the shit down your throat down people's throats are making so many people hate trans when there's really no reason to hate them like they're just people being people and they could be and if they want to be people like that they want to act that way that, and it doesn't affect you and they should be able to do that but it's the groomers and stuff the pedophiles all, all the people trying to force kids onto this ideology that are the evil people people like that give people like this such a bad name measurable just to see the like physical difference sometimes between them you don't have to be like into sports or a fucking scientist to see like oh that's a huge human that's a small human and that person's probably gonna have an advantage in some way yeah, yeah. This real. person. Some of them are just like fucking big and you see them lined up playing track or some running track and like it's okay. Do you Those know legs the, are long. The craziest one that I ever heard of? What? A 50 year old guy transitioned to being female. Caitlyn Jenner? No, no, no. Uh, that's She's older than that. She's in her 60s. Yeah, she is. 50 year old guy and then went back to college and played college ball. Wait. <laughs> went back to so women's college ball has a 50 plus year old man that's like six foot five this fucking giant person what's crazy is here's where it becomes a problem if you're a woman that's the that's him right there oh her, right there. I, yeah I've how does that, that even make see, sense this is what i mean when you just see it and it's plain as day like that it's really hard to argue for it people still manage to but these somehow, are but... teenage girls yeah I mean, this is and what's really fucked is that these <laughs> girls for a lot of these 19 20 year old girls like they're, they might work be working on a scholarship, right? They be might there want, through their academic merit or their now they play um, in a sports bench. merits and like they might want to play in the NBA as a professional. And here they're 
competing against a biological male that's gigantic. How did the 50-year-old even compete in college sports? I thought there was a cutoff age that once you're so old, you can't play college sports. I might be wrong on that. I'm not sure. I didn't go to college. Well, I didn't go to university college. But, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure. That's a huge person. Like, why you got to go back to co- – and if there's this many trans athletes wanting to wanting to compete, like, where are the trans leagues at this point? I feel like those should be – That be the would be great. I would if love to see If they had trans it. leagues. But then that would be a problem because the male to female would dominate. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I would they say separate. They'd just, have to separate it like that, trans men and trans women. There'd be four different sports categories. Well, women are still complaining about not getting paid enough. Male to- and then the trans women would get paid more than the women. And then and then the women would see a problem with it. That's what we need to do. We need to we need to make that shit happen so women really see what the hell's going on and see how these men, these trans men, are trying to take over womanhood. Like, like women don't go through shit to be a woman. It's like men. Men go through shit to be a man, but no one cares. Let's put it on the women because people care about that. To females and maybe female to male separate. Yeah. Just like a reverse right. of what we already have. have. Two, right. Like I would love to two see Fallon leads. Fox box. What's her name? Alana McLaughlin, the other trans woman fighter, the one with the pink oh. hair. It's like, y'all just go at it. You get out. I want to. <laughs> if they're the same weight you, class. You can't tell me, like, you wouldn't want to, like, just hit a blunt and watch two trannies beat the fuck out of each other. That's it, hilarious. It would be. Jerry Springer. Uh, it would be more fair. But yeah, I'm in that video there, y'all. It's got a little bit long. Please give your boy a like. If you got anything to say about the video, any suggestions for a future video, anything to say to me, let me know. I'll read every single comment down below. And if you fuck with me, please give me a subscription. With that being said, deuces. Never trying to tussle. Hit that bitch broke, give him back to the streets. In love with the bag, I can't fuck up for free. Heard he was hating, but down on his knees. You switched on your dogs, but that couldn't be me. Says money on my head, tell them niggas come get it. All the niggas broke, how the fuck I'm still living? It's 30 in the Glock, every shot, I'ma send it. Lying on sauce, niggas faking for an image. Niggas ain't nothing, they bitches ain't spinning. Niggas falling off and they really ain't.